Greg McDermott. We'll start with an opening statement, then we'll take questions. You go on a road trip like this and you win two and you, uh, you better uh, point to the sky and be pretty thankful. Uh, these are these are tough uh, in these times and in this league, uh, especially against two teams that had beaten us at our place. And you know, uh, Marquette hung 89 on us at our place and uh, 86 for uh, Georgetown last week. So I think that what we were able to do defensively the last two days, while I the last two games, while I, you know our offense wasn't exactly as crisp as it needed to, certainly far more turnovers uh, than we are accustomed to having tonight. Uh, but our activity defensively, I think, spoke for itself. We got in there, we knocked balls loose, uh, and uh, you know made made most of their looks pretty challenging. I think you hold a team to 27% shooting on their home floor, uh, and at the same time uh, force them into 24 turnovers. That's uh, that's one of the better defensive outings that uh, this team's had this season. All right, we'll do questions again. Use the raised hand feature. We'll start with Matt DeMarinas. Can't hear you, Matt. Is it turned it up? Is it oh, turned up? I'm sorry. Oops. Try it again. Good. Yep. Now I can hear. Cool. I know Denzel didn't shoot it well tonight, but I was just wondering what you thought of his performance on the end of the floor. His last two games have been unbelievable. Like his, the decisions he's made with the making with the basketball on offense. Uh, every one of his shots were shots we would take every time, uh, and then. What he did defensively uh, on, you know, against Marquette, and then on Blair tonight, uh, you know, he flipped the script from from the way that we defended him the first time. So uh, while the while the offensive numbers uh, probably don't show, uh, you wouldn't guess that his impact on the game was significant. Uh, but I'm here to tell you, uh, he had a huge impact on this game uh, with with the way he played on the offensive end and moved the basketball, gets four steals defensively, and and makes you know makes Blair's life miserable. All right, again, use the raise hand feature if you've got a question for Coach McDermott. Uh, Matt, we'll go again. Um. Start both halves. Christian and, and DJ were making, you know, I guess maybe tone setting plays offensively. As much as you guys struggled tonight, it felt like it, it wasn't um, those two who were contributing to that. Um, just in terms of like putting George Allen tilt and extending your guys' lead a little bit, how big were they on that end of the floor? Uh, they were they were great. I mean, they got us off to a great start. Um, you know, and, and, you know, DJ gets four assists and no turnovers uh, in this game. And, you know, that Christian's activity um, on both ends of the floor, you know, obviously at 17 and nine, which is terrific. But, uh, you know, what he was able to do defensively, uh, you know, with Wahab, you know, he, gave, he fronted him some, uh, he got his hands on some balls, and then he was able to stay disciplined uh, when it went in there and, uh, and allowed his teammates to get there and provide the help uh, because obviously we brought it from a lot of different spots. So, uh, you know, Christian and DJ were both really good. John, go ahead. Georgetown making mistakes, I know, but like, what did you think about just the way your guys were able to get their hands on the ball and, you know, sort of collapse and swarm the way they did tonight? Yeah, we just, you know, we, we, we attempted to defend them a little bit different the first time. Uh, we were obviously weren't happy with the way that went, and we just decided, you know, we're going to take him out of the game. Like, he's going to. Uh, he's going to feel from the opening tip that we're coming from different spots uh, and swiping at that basketball any time that they got it in the paint. And I thought our guys were really, really active uh, with their hands, and they were able to do it without fouling. And you know, and like I said, I thought Christian and Ryan did a good job of forcing him away from the basket, so that help doesn't have to come quite as far. And that was critical as well. But um, you know, Rob tells me that 19 steals was a school record, uh, so those guys, uh, you know, those guys were really active. Got time for about two more questions. We'll go back to John. I was just curious, Greg, when you see your team start the way it did offensively, like DJ went right to the rim, you know, got a put back bucket and Christian gets a dunk, and I think DJ had nothing that's like that tone setting start. Like, how, how did, 
how do you assess that? I mean, is that I mean, it's obviously a good sign, I know, but like. The, did you think it was coming? Was it part of the plan, or what did you think about that? You know, we wanted we wanted to attack, uh, and you know, I think Mitch's three was open, and then I think after we scored on those four possessions, I think Denzel had back to back open three point shots. So you know, the, our shots were good. Um, we didn't make a lot of them, and and uh, you know, and we forced a couple turnovers in those first few possessions, which was good to see. So, you know, we want to attack the basket, but we want to do it. You have to be smart with Georgetown. Their their rim protection is really good. Um, so you know, I thought CB got in there, used a shot fake, you know, spun, used the rim to protect against the block shot. And obviously DJ was very aggressive early as well. So, uh, you know, I thought our, you know, the, I, I thought our start to the, fir- to the game was great, but I also thought our start uh, to the second half was really good. I think we scored on, you know, five of our s- first six possessions and held them uh, one out of their first seven, and that created the separation in the game. Final question for Coach, we'll go back to Matt. <laughs> Yeah, just on that point, I, I was wondering what you guys talked about in the locker room. So I, I don't know if you felt this way or not, but um, it certainly felt like you earned more than a 12 point lead at the break. What did you guys talk about a lot in the locker room? How big was the start of the second half? Well, I was really, really pleased with what we were doing defensively. I mean, they had 21 points in their home four. Uh, so, and, you know, I had 40 something at our place. So uh, I thought our guys executed the plan really well and we were three of 14 uh, from the three-point line and there weren't a lot of those that I that I didn't like you know if we have open shots um, you know after you know we get in a ball screen action and Christian dives to the rim and we throw it back and a guy's got a rhythm three that's a shot that we want to take and uh, we weren't able to knock many of those down tonight uh, but uh, knocked enough of them down to keep them honest and you know the, the important thing is who wins and who loses and uh, we went on a difficult road trip after coming off a tough loss at home and found a way to get two road wins. And, uh, you know, it keeps us, uh, keeps us in the hunt and sets up what's going to be a big game on Saturday. All right. Thank you, Coach. We'll Thanks. have Christian Bishop here shortly. CB does more. Creighton Jr. forward. Christian Bishop, uh, again, if you've got a question, use the raise hand feature. We'll start with Ron. Thank you. Um, this time around, you guys clearly wanted to take Wahab out of the game doubling and tripling him on the touch. Um, you also was sagging him if you weren't allowing yourself to be spaced out. Talk about that after. Yeah, I mean, Georgetown, they're big, man. They're they are big and strong, long. And so uh, just having to play harder and a little bit faster and try to beat them to spots is what we the game plan was for us. And uh, I feel like we executed that well tonight. Did you see a little frustration on them or a little fear in terms of how many threes they were taking? You took the inside game away and they got – Really yeah, for sure. I mean, I feel like they do a lot of getting the ball in the paint, and so by taking that away from them, they took some shots. I mean, they didn't hit too many shots today, so uh, we kind of got a little bit lucky right there. But, uh, you know, that's just throughout the course of the game. I don't think we shot too well today. So just getting away from their inside game and sh- making them take shots they don't want to take was good for us. Matt? Thank you. Go ahead, Matt. Thank you, Christian. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, Christian, I just wonder what, what you feel like has been key for you in this um, last few games here. It seems like you've performed pretty well, and I know some of that is, you know, just based on shots going in and shots not going in and whatnot, but you feel like you're, you're playing at a pretty high level right now. Do you know uh, what is contributing to that? No, I mean, I feel like I'm trying to do the same thing day in and day out and just be consistent uh, tonight. You know, uh, our guards were able to get into the paint and uh, – bring their bigs over so I was just easy, able to get easy layups so I give credit to the guards on that because I feel like they changed the game a lot. All right, John? Christian, what, what have you guys, I mean, what's gotten into you guys <laughs> these last two games? The energy seems to be up and maybe that's just my, and you may be off on that, but yeah. let me know, like, what, what, I mean, are you guys playing a little bit? No, I mean. With, with more energy or what do you think? I mean, I think we're playing with the same energy. I think we got a little bit more grit to us now. Uh, we had a little team meeting the other day and uh, figured out some problems and just decided to come together more as a group and uh, show everybody what we got. And so I feel like we've been doing that well the past couple games. And uh, Matt? Hey, man, I just wonder what, like, what it's like, like uh, just playing with Damien and like just beating off of all the things he does. It feels like, you know, you're watching him and not a lot of stuff is run for him specifically, but he finds ways to impact the game in so many ways. And I just wonder what 
how 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 does that permeate through the rest of the people on the floor? Well, I mean, I don't know if you guys have been watching the games, but like, I don't. We don't run too many plays at all, so. I feel like whenever somebody has the ball and they're in a situation to make a play, uh, that's what happens. And so DJ, he was able to do that. And like, he's a playmaker, man. So he's gonna rebound, score the ball and get assists. And without him, we can't do it. Got time for one last question. We'll go back to John for the final question. <coughs> you may have touched on this a little bit, Christian, but like one of the things Max said was like, you and Ryan had to really fight for position yeah. to keep their bigs out of the paint. And I wonder like, what do you think you did a little bit better there versus the last time? Just in terms, I mean, it sounds simple. Oh yeah, just push them out. But like, no, nah, right? Not yeah, it's never, it's never those easy. Those guys are huge, man. But uh, like I was saying, just like beating them to spots, uh, just being the quicker guy and just playing our tails off. I feel like just get, being able to give 100% the entire time while you're out there is gonna, it's gonna make the different plays and it's gonna, the effort plays will change the game. All right, thank you, Christian. Yep. Appreciate you guys.